Dakota Rock and Rollers Hall of Fame induction concert is taking place October 19th. Joining me today with more details is Corey Van Sickle from Corey and the Fireflies and Willie Birch with Battle of the Bands. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. All right, tell us kind of how long this has been going on. Well, I think this is the 16th year for, yes. the, the, for the Hall of Fame um, induction concert and um, and and then we've got the Battle of the Bands which is the fourth year mm -hmm. and uh, Willie's kind of been spearheading that where we get these young kids coming in and mm -hmm. and um, playing you know rock and roll you yeah. know what's better than that yeah talk a little bit more in detail too about kind of what each of these are yeah be taking so Saturday night is the uh, is the induction and Every year we find, you know, killer bands from some from the past, some from not, not as far back. And, uh, and they're inducted into the South Dakota Rock and Rollers Hall of Fame. So the show is Saturday and there are still some tickets available and a couple tables too. Uh, but it's, it's held at the Alliance and uh, we got great production and great sound lights, the whole thing. And it's a great night. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we, the, the concert actually helps raise money for for schools um, uh, to buy instruments for kids, and um, so that's kind of part of the mission. Wow, great cause. Yeah. And then you talk about a little bit about Battle of the Bands. Well, the Battle of the Bands came about about uh, four years ago. We decided that uh, when I was young, when I had a band, everybody in Sioux Falls had a band. And uh, where did they play? They played in their garages, they played mm -hmm. in uh, their basements. <coughs> so now there's no place for these bands to play anymore in Sioux Falls. I mean, bars are all 21. These are high school kids, so our battle of the bands is youth. It's youth orientated. We have mostly high school kids, and uh, we give them the opportunity to showcase what they've got. And we've had some fantastic bands. One of them uh, made it to the Voice, wow, and another one made it to the Levitt. And so, you know, we've got some quality bands in town. Not as many as we had back in my day, but that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But we do have quality bands that come out. And uh, Friday night it starts at seven o'clock. Um, it's $20 to get in, and you can't go anywhere for $20. Mm -hmm. Six different bands are playing, so we're pretty excited about that. It's a very good show. Yeah. What's it like kind of seeing all the talent in our community, too? It's great. And this year, I want to mention the bands that are, that are performing at this year's mm -hmm. concert. So we've got Descent, which is the first, uh, the first punk band, as far as I know, ever to go okay. in the, the Hall of Fame, which is cool. They're from Rapid City. Uh, Sugar Daddy's been a band playing around here since I think the mid mid 80s. A great cover band, do a ton of stuff around, and st still still at it. Uh, Toadstool Jamboree is another band from Rapid City, uh, doing some big stuff. Flat Cat, they were 80s, I believe. Big time band. Yeah, Ooh, okay. and uh, and then to wrap it uh, wrap it up, we've got uh, well, the Spill Canvas is being inducted, and Nick Thomas, the founder of that band, is going to come in and do a killer acoustic uh, intimate set uh, mm -hmm. for everybody yeah. so so we're excited about the show for sure and you mentioned it's for a great cause too it talk is. a little bit more about that cause and why yeah that's so important. well so for for years now the induction uh, part of the proceeds then goes to buying instruments um, these schools around the around the state can can send in you know kind of what some of their needs are um, and then we fulfill these uh, these grants mm -hmm. and um, and uh, you know uh, one of the things that is first to be taken out of schools is, is uh, funding for the arts. And we're mm -hmm. believers in the power of music. Yeah. And, um, and so if we can help make that happen, we, uh, we're happy to do it. For sure. Well, how can people get tickets then to this? Well, the, the website, I guess, okay. right? That's the, the website. easiest. Uh, so that's SDRRMA, South Dakota Rock and Roll Music Association. Or you can buy them right at the gate if you want to. Okay, perfect. Well, thank yeah. you again for coming in. Thanks, Bailey. Thanks. And we'll be back after the break.